This morning, forecasters warn that storms of Godzilla proportions could hit the West Coast. A NASA climatologist describes the system as a Godzilla El Nino. It could bring once-in-a-generation storms to the West this winter. John Blackstone shows us how this could impact California, especially the four-year drought. A strong El Nino could turn drought-stricken California from this to this. In San Francisco, the winter of 1997-98 was the wettest in 120 years. A full year's worth of rain fell in Los Angeles in just one month. Mountain towns were buried under twice the average snowfall. What's coming this winter could be even stronger. El Nino comes in all sizes, small, medium and large. But very rarely do we get a Godzilla El Nino. Godzilla is apparently the only word to describe what climatologist William Patsert sees in images that show unusually warm water spreading across the Pacific near the equator. That warm water mass, the signature of El Nino, seems to be growing even broader than it did in 1997. This one looked promising from the start. At birth, it was a big baby. In the United States, a strong El Nino can bring more precipitation across the south and up the east coast. Northern states are likely to have a winter that is drier and warmer than usual. This would be a very strong El Nino. In California, meteorologist John Monteverde has been watching with growing excitement. We always get interested in forecasting storms and there's going to be lots of storms to forecast if this pattern bears out. Can Californians start going into the back of their closet to find their umbrellas and raincoats? Ha ha, yes. <laughs> but forecasters warn that four years of drought have left California so dry, even this powerful El Nino may not be enough to bring the state back to normal. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco.